Hi everybody. Secretary of State John Kerry recently linked the wave of terror attacks where Jews are being knifed and murdered in Israel with Israel's settlement activities. This is an astonishing statement of blame the victim and should be rejected by every American with a moral compass. Remember, our Secretary of State has had a broken moral compass for decades. He was the one who famously accused his comrades in arms the brave American soldiers who were fighting to keep Vietnam free, whatever mistakes were made there, that they were hordes and legions of Genghis Khan. He took a few rotten apples and he tarred and feathered the whole American military with it. He has yet to sincerely apologize for that. He would later accuse Israel of being a semi-apartheid state. And now he says that Jews are being killed not because of anti-Semitism, not because of Jew hatred, not because of radical jihad, not because of Islamists who want to destroy Israel and annihilate Israel, but rather because of Jewish occupation. Let's be clear, even if there were an occupation, and these are disputed territories in Judea and Samaria, not occupied, I'm not going to get into the legal wranglings of that now, but even if it were so, would John Kerry say that if Tibetans were stabbing Chinese children in the heart on the streets of Beijing, that it's because of the Chinese occupation of Tibet? If Turkish children were having their, their throats slit on the streets of Istanbul, by Cypriots. Would John Kerry say it's because Cyprus has been occupied by Turkey since 1974? If Russian children were being gunned down on buses in Moscow by people from the Crimea, would John Kerry say this is happening because of an occupation? Or would he say that there is no justification for murdering children, murdering innocent women, murdering innocent men? The broken moral compass of John Kerry is an embarrassment to the United States. It is an astonishing betrayal of American values. The United States stands for a human being having infinite value and created with certain rights, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Dead people, murdered, can't be happy. Their families, who have to grieve and mourn for them, can't be happy. Kerry should apologize to the people of Israel and the Jewish citizens of the United States and indeed every American citizen for his astonishing astonishing inability to distinguish simple good from evil. The terrorists who seek to kill Israelis do so because they will never accept a Jewish state in their midst. They have never done so, and they unfortunately seem to never want to do so in the future. When Hamas has a charter saying they will annihilate all Israelis, it has nothing to do with any occupation. There are no Israeli soldiers in Gaza. Every single person was forcibly withdrawn. Would John Kerry tell us that American soldiers being blown, God forbid, to smithereens by IEDs in Afghanistan by the Taliban has something to do with America occupying Afghanistan or if the same thing was happening by Iraq? God Almighty, Secretary Kerry, you're a leader of this nation. Why don't you finally fix that broken moral compass?